Hey, Funk Roberts here with my Angela. Beautiful wife, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everything is great, guys. We're back, and today we're coming at you with another functional wad workout. But today we are going to combine the complex training with the AMRAP workout protocol. So what does that mean? Well, complex, complex training today is we're going to be taking three exercises and we're going to be performing each exercise for the prescribed reps one after the other in a row. And then after we're done, we can rest or we can continue through. And we're going to be using the AMRAP protocol, which means as many rounds as possible. So we're going to be doing that, that complex, for six minutes straight. We're just gonna continue to go. We'll put down when we need to. We can increase weight when we need to, decrease weight when we need to. The goal is to try to get as many rounds as you can um, as during possible the six minutes, during yeah. the six minutes, but you know, of course it's gonna change throughout. So after we're done the first set, we're gonna rest for a minute and then we've got two other sets. So again, it's a functional wad, which means we're gonna be using fundamental movement patterns, the hinge, the, the, the pull, the push, the carry, the lunge, and squat, but we're not gonna be lunging today, okay? <laughs> we're just gonna be squatting and we'll do the lunge, another workout. All right, so hopefully you've warmed up. Make sure you warm up before. We'll talk you through this. This is a follow along. I'm so, we're so happy that you're here with us. So make sure that you warm up before. We'll look at the demo if you are watching this in a workout program, and also look at the description so that you can see. And also click subscribe if you like these type of workouts and make sure that you like this, share this, save this workout to do it later. And uh, are you ready, honey? Yeah, so just to recap, yes. three six minute circuits. Yeah. They are am wraps, as many rounds as possible. You yeah. rest when you need to, but try and get through the three exercises before you put those weights down. Right. Yeah, so don't try and don't try and rest during the morning. Yeah, you can't actually. Yeah. We, we'll come through the yeah. we'll, we'll come through there and kill you. <laughs> okay, so uh, the first set: squat, four squats, four curls, four marches. Okay, mm -hmm. four suitcase squats, four curls, four marches. I'm gonna start with 30s. I got 20s. And um, well, let me turn on. The All right, we got wheels of steel. Six minutes. Six, six minutes, minutes. Six minutes. Doug, you fresh here on, uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on. Three, two, <laughs> here we go. All right, five. Okay, suitcase squats. Yeah, suitcase squats. Shoulders back, make sure your sternum is up. First, obviously the first round. It's gonna be eight curls. Squeeze those butt cheeks when you're curled. Make sure the elbows are forward when you're curling. Good. March. So we want to make sure that the knee drives up and we're holding anti-rotation. Push those big toes into the floor. Right, so back to squats. Shoulders back. Good. Drive through the heels. Don't make look, sure, go. I was gonna say don't look down. No. Look straight ahead. Sternum should be pointed Curl. forward. Again, when you're curling, make sure those elbows are forward. Yeah. Do not curl back like this. Pull. Ooh. And now we're doing anti-rotation. This march is anti-rotation. Stability, balance. Good. How many is that, two? Yes, yeah, two. Next, go on three. And you guys can go at your own pace. Again, it's not about going as fast as you can. It's about quality. So, go as heavy as you can. Oh, man. So if you're dying now, you can't rest until after the march. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> hold it, hold it. Three, nice and slow hold, here. Hold, hold, hold. Good. Good, I'm resting. Me too. Okay, so some tips. During the march, big toe press. If you're falling all over the place, that's fine. Your body's fighting for that balance. Let your body fight. Push those feet into the floor. Push a big toe, big toe. Okay. Also, when you're doing your curl, I don't want you, we don't want you curling by, by pulling your elbows back. We want you curling by putting your elbows forward. That will ensure that you're focusing on the bicep and not the shoulder here, okay? Yeah. And also with those curls, try not to do my bad habit, which is this. <laughs> you're staring at your curls. <laughs> looking Look at the, ahead. <laughs> the work you're putting in. All right, keep going, guys. I mean, you guys could still be going. Dude. Remember, sternum forward. Do not, I may have to go singles here, man. Or power curls. Three. 
or good. shoulders back. Two, good. Hold that. Good. Drive up. Nice. Good. We want good form here, good quality technique. Master the movement. Oh, I made a mistake. slow on these marches. Yeah. You're in control. Shoulders back. Body tall. Staring straight. Oh man. Oh. Okay, so that's five rounds you've done so far. 240 left. Yeah, so what I wanted to say about the weight that you choose, if you go too heavy, <laughs> yeah. that's great, but you're gonna take a lot of rest because you're going for strength and you're going for using that heavy weight. It doesn't really work with the MRAP style because you're gonna need a lot more rest, you get a lot more recovery needed. So sure. Try and use you know, light to moderate, good moderate weight. It's a, it's a challenge, but you can recover a little faster. Yeah. Yeah, if you're trying to go really heavy, using an AMRAP maybe not be the best. I mean, yeah. you can go heavy and maybe if you're striving for like, okay, I only want to get five sets out of here, yeah. but I need the six minute AMRAP to keep me focused. Yeah. Sure, you could do that. Like we only have five and we got two minutes okay, left. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Good drive through the heels. Whoa, yeah. Five, I? I, don't know. One, I gotta go one at a time here, girl. Two, I hear you. Yeah. Okay. But that means we're doubling up. Eight. I'm using 30s, by the way, if you're asking. But it doesn't matter what I'm using, it's what you're using. And what you can get the best quality reps out of. Good. Make sure those knees are pointed out on the way up. Oh, those bicep curls. Yeah. Oh. How much time we got? One minute. Oh, man. I'm gonna try and get another set here. Man, that one hurt, that one hurt. Sometimes we try to push the envelope a little bit. <laughs> so my goal for next time is, you know, the goal for this type of workout is trying to go unbroken as much as possible, but going with heavy weight. Yeah, okay. less rest is the goal. With good heavy weight, like I mean, if you're only using 10 pounds, I ain't gonna cut it. It may. You know. Yeah, if you're using really lightweight, you gotta that's go fine. fast. Yeah, you gotta go fast. Less rest yep. and moving. Yeah. Try and go unbroken. It's gonna be ugly. I think that's it. I think we've got eight rounds in. One, two, three, four, time. Okay, first little circuit, mini circuit done. Yes. Rest. Rest. Shake Take it out. Take some time and rest. So the next, so yeah, just, it's always good to think about what you just did, right? Like kind of a little bit of an overview. Okay, that was, that was pretty good. I'm feeling good right now. I know that I can increase. So write down, always track what you're doing. Write down what weights you used. And how many write rounds. down how many rounds you did. Yeah. So that next time you come to this workout, you're not guessing. Yeah. Right. So I believe I got eight rounds. I got, I used 20 pound dumbbells. So that's good, it was really, it was challenging. Yeah. Got through it, but if I went a little heavier, I would have needed way too much rest and my biceps probably would have. Now you're gonna do this workout once a week. You're gonna probably do this uh, as part of three or four other workouts with, throughout the week and you're gonna do this four times and then you move on to something else. Maybe yeah. you'll change up the exercises in it, but you'll do the same exercises. For four weeks for is what four you mean, weeks. right? Yeah. Now here's the thing. Maybe the first time you do this, you may go light and try to see how fast you can go, how many rounds you with can go. With proper technique. With proper technique, but yeah. maybe you can get 20 rounds, I mean, not 20, you get 15 rounds with 10 pounds. Yeah. But the goal is to increase the weight so you get enough work. Okay, next up we've got the power. This power, is power section, we've got swings. We're gonna do one arm swings. Yeah. I'm gonna use a dumbbell. Or one arm, yeah, swings, dumbbell or kettlebell. Yeah. I'm gonna use a kettlebell. Yeah. 
We're gonna go right to the cleans after yep, that. Three cleans. And then and we're then. going to safely come down and row. Make sure you've got that hip hinge properly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is a lot of hinging. This is power hinge movements with the swing. Clean is we're hinging and, and pulling. And then we're gonna get come back down and we're gonna pull again. I like using a lot of pulls in my workouts. More pulls than pushes. We should be doing at least three yes. to one. Yeah. So um, again, this is very technical. So with the swings, if you know how to do kettlebell swings, use kettlebells and yeah. kettlebell cleans. If you don't, then use dumbbells and I'll be showing you guys how to use that dumbbell. I'll be doing skier swings, okay? Yep. All right, so you guys ready? You ready, honey? Yep. If you're using kettlebells, get it in a hike position. Yes. You're gonna start with the right hand, yes. get it in that right hand lane. Not in the center, on the right side. And if you're using dumbbells, what I like to do is I like to, I like to pick it up first and then go into a slight hinge yeah. and then swing. It's a little bit different than the kettlebell. Yeah, a little ready? bit more quads, right? Yeah, yeah, more quads, yeah, exactly. Five, four, you guys ready? Pick up your weights, five, four, three, four two, one. Here we go. What are we doing? Four, five, uh, three. Oh, three, three swings. Three, yeah. three swings. Three swings. Three, so we're, we're sticking to the same side. So right side swings. Then three right side cleans. And then we're gonna safely bring it down. Bend over. Right side row. One, two, three. Good. Other side. Two sides. One, two, three, four. Good. Two, three. So we're gonna slightly bend. We're gonna hinge and pull. So I'm gonna go to the side so these guys can see what's happening. I'll just stagger myself. So a skier swing and then clean. Rack that. Do a little bit of a hinge, elbow forward, core tight, drop the weight, hinged back, pull back by the hips. Pull back by the hips. Oops. So we're, it's a, a, a slight dip for the suitcase swings. Okay, I'm done talking. So you can go now, honey. <laughs> okay. Rest, that was three, yeah. two rounds or three rounds? I don't remember. I think it was three. All right, so I'm gonna use the 30. So again, the suitcase swing's a little bit weird because it's coming out on your outside of your leg. Yeah. It's not like a hip hinge. It's more of a quad. Almost like you're jumping. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So it is a hinge, it is a hinge. Yeah. But not as much as a swing is. Yeah. Um, you're gonna use more of your quads. More quad dominant then. Yeah, yeah. Come up here, more of your quads. Okay, let's get started I'm again. gonna use the 30s. Yeah, 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 come on through, come on. Yeah, 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 we're, this is the gym, man. That's what we do. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go to 30s. And again, two, three, clean. Make sure when you clean the dumbbell, elbows forward. Tight elbows even with the kettlebells yeah. well, right? Yeah. Roll back. One, two. Now, if you're doing this, it's gonna feel really weird, right? It's off. Awesome. Offsetting unilateral. Hip hinge down. Roll back one. Nice roll. Now, if you want, you know, maybe it's the second or third time you're doing this work, and you're like, you know what, Funk? I want to increase the reps. I want to do five or six. You can do that, it's totally up to you. But what I would suggest is going heavier, right? Yeah. Go heavier if you, cause it's a, we're trying to invoke power here, Yeah. right? We're trying to find that balance of a struggle with the workout, yeah. but able to do it without too much rest yeah. uh, and proper technique, not yeah. losing the form. Yeah. But you want to be challenged. So it's not just, it's not about cardio too. We're lifting no. load. We want load on the body, right? So. Yeah. Make sure it's a nice moderate weight yeah. that's challenging yeah. and you can keep your technique. So I'm gonna go to 40s. 
and see what happens here. So, one, two, three, clean, clean. Use that, remember you're not curling it, you're using that lower body to clean. And then we're rolling back by the hips. One. Squeeze the glutes top of the swing. Oh man. One. So what I want to say about the kettlebell, if you're using the kettlebell, even the dumbbell too, when you're in this top position, either it's the swing or it's the clean or you're pressing, whatever you're doing, you are squeezing yeah. full body tension. Your yes. quads are like this. Like they're about to cramp any second. Your feet are digging into the floor. Your quads are engaged. Your glutes are engaged. Your lats, everything. Everything is tense. You want to build full body tension. The more you're able to do that and make a mind-body connection like that, less chance of injury, more calories burned. More power. More results, more power. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, man. It's almost like you're gonna throw this. So you gotta use your lower body to help you. It's right here, I'm squeezing everything. Yeah, me too. Up, squeeze. And watch your eyes. Do not look down. Yeah. When you're in the bottom position, looking about six look feet out. ahead. When you're in the top position, look straight ahead. This is a great. Unilateral complex here. Oh my god. You barely talk there. A lot of work. Well, three seconds left here. Nice. Both sides? Both yeah. sides. Good. good work, guys. Okay. That was tough. So, this is a recap on that one. That's supposed to be power. Power. So when you're, when you're swinging, yeah. put your hip hinge, drive it. Lower Swing. body. This is all lower body. Yeah. Really, it's all coming from this, right? Your arms are doing nothing. They're just a lever. And I'm squeezing. I'm squeezing. My feet are digging on the floor. My lats are engaged. Power. So I was going pretty light here because I'm a little tired from yesterday's workout. Yeah. But yeah. power. And when you're cleaning, again, yeah. Power. Yes. Driving those elbows back. back. Yes. Yeah. And then it's beautiful. The row is more like just pull, pure pull. strength and pull, right? Thinking about pulling, right? As opposed to rowing, like, you know, pulling back. Yeah. Uh, and it's weird because it's unilateral, right? So we're not used to doing things unilaterally in a gym, but in everyday life, we're always doing things unilaterally. We're always. picking things up with always. one. We're throwing things, you know, with one arm. We're doing all the, Guys, you know what I mean? So yeah. we need to train both unilaterally, bilaterally. Yeah. On, on. You have to do things on one leg. Yes. We walk on one leg. Yes. We do everything on one leg. Yeah. You have to be able to lift load on one leg. Yes. Right, balance is huge. Yeah. Rotation and, with load as well. Daily functional things that make you a healthy person for Beautiful. a long, sustainable time. That's right. And and uh, lastly, it's just like, you know, it, it is going to feel weird. Like it's not going to feel, am yeah. I doing something wrong? You know, sometimes you may not feel like you're doing the exercise right, even yeah. though you are. It's just a different feeling. But the more you do it, the more natural it's going to feel. Your body should never be, I shouldn't say never, but not lazy. So if you're doing this, this guy, if you want to make sure that you're not rotated and everything's engaged, oh, yeah. maybe make a fist on this side yeah. just to make sure you maintain that tension. We've yeah. got to keep our spine safe. Everything is working to prevent any injury. Everything's tense. We're getting way better results. We're burning way more calories. Okay, let's move on to yeah. our last set. We're going to move to um, a push with the chest press from the floor. Okay. Eight rounds. And then we're going to eight drop. Rounds, eh? Sorry, eight reps. That's Jesus. the goal. <laughs> eight reps. And then we're going to, we're going to. Um, this is a little bit of a different type of complex. We're just is more of like we're doing chest press eight times. Put the the dumbbells down. Then we're going to rotate and do four dips on one four side 
Side dips. Thank you. Side plank dips. Side plank dips on one side, side plank dips for the other side. Yeah. And then continue through that. So. And the reason why we're doing side planks, incredibly important exercise for overall core strength, yes. for your back, for uh, back. Um, stability and Stability, and strength. mobility, strength, all that yeah. stuff, strength. Okay. And keep your back safe. Yeah. Okay, let's go. And we don't generally, uh, you know, we everyone does planks, but we're not doing the most important one, which is side plank and side all the variations. Are important, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna have room to to uh, go to your side there, Holmes. I guess we'll figure that out, right? Yeah, well, like this. No, well, I guess we just do. Oh, like yeah, this. okay. Yeah. Okay. Get on the ground, go. guys. Get on the ground, and uh, I'm gonna move back a little bit. So we're doing a chest press, eight reps, and then side plank. Hip dips four, side plank hip dips four. You guys ready? Let's go. We've had enough rest. Yeah, we have enough talk. I've got 25 pounds. Last six minutes. Let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Blah, dow. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, in the chest. We're doing a bridge, too. Oh, yeah, also. Bridge, bridge. I want to get those glutes involved. That's right. We're, so it's almost like a decline chest press. Remember back in the day? Decline chest press, kids? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what we're doing. Get the lower chest, man. Yeah, man. Right from there, I'm gonna go into my side plank. You're gonna dip your hips and back up. Two, three, three. I hate you for this one, by the way. Just four, honey. Just four. four. Yes. Come on, Four man. sides. I'm trying to be a brown noser. <laughs> Good. Now, next little... time I'll go from the front so you can see that. Yeah. Cool. Grab your dumbbells. All right, remember, bridge first. Yeah. Let's bridge first. All right, get to that bridge and then press. Wow. Now, generally I would tell you to press over your head, but you can press straight up. And almost make this a dual chest and tricep because if the lower you are pressing mm. the more the triceps are going to come into play the higher you're pressing the more it's going to be your chest okay quit talking funk yeah good call sorry guys it's more work one two three now this has only four reps aside here so go a little slow i'm going to slow mine down a little bit slow your roll man hold that top position a little <laughs> longer okay up okay good call up. top one Two, three. What I want you to do, Angela, is talk about the next rep you do, spreading the legs so the adductors feel yes. more. Yes, next rep next we're going to do, do is the difference between stacking and then putting one foot in front of the other. Bridge, now I'm going to do the other way. So straight up. You really want to hit the glutes here. Uh, squeeze those glutes. Get the toes off the floor, just the heels. Oh my God. Wow. And bring your elbows to the ground. And that's gonna, every time you touch those elbows to the ground, the triceps are gonna get a little. Okay, so this time, yeah. on my plank, I'm gonna put my top leg in front of my bottom. And you'll notice you get a lot more work in the adductors, like yeah. adductor of this leg, because it's not resting on your bottom leg. Right. You really feel it. And one more. So much harder. Also, adductors is one of those muscles where you certainly don't use, activate it enough or use it enough. And if you have weak adductors, you might have bad lower back, painful lower back, because the back, what does it do? It starts to compensate, right? Four. 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 Feel that adductor here. Oh man. So the chest press, the push press, we're doing muscular endurance, right? We're trying for muscular endurance. Lots of volume on there. It's that metabolic stress that helps build muscle. Well, it breaks down muscle. But Oh man. We're also having you moving side to side, different up and down. Ooh. Three. 
four. Wow. Whew. My triceps are really burning right now. All right. How are you guys doing out there? I'm doing the lower chest now. movements yeah. we call them functional fundamental but fundamental fundamental yeah. but yeah. basically i know i feel good about doing this work because i'm not just trying to get you know a muscular body or like that i'm trying to keep my body healthy and strong yeah. and balanced so for it the rest can, of my life yeah strong so for so it can move every day effortlessly doing everyday activities right effective movements without feeling pain, without walking up the stairs and my knee hurts, you know? Oh my gosh, I mean, everybody I work with is saying the same thing, oh, this hurts, that hurts. Yeah. Well, you probably have a weakness here, here, here. So we're so, gonna, we're gonna, keep going. The more you train exercises like this, side plank, you know? Do you have so many? One more. Listen, when the apocalypse, <laughs> when the zombie apocalypse happens, we need to be as healthy as we can. Because <laughs> they're coming for the weak ones first, yo. <sighs> oh, man. About seven seconds left, everybody. One, two, three, four. Time. Break. Time. Oh, good job. Right. Are we gonna do our. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Guys, give us some knuckles. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that workout. And I hope you feel good, right? You wanna come out of your workouts feeling good, feeling energized. Yes, you wanna like feel I like do. you I did something. Right I feel really good right now. Yeah. You know, I'm ready to, to take on anything. And I know that I've broken down muscle fibers. I know I've worked on my power, I know I've worked on my stability. I know I'm gonna be better for that tomorrow. Guys, like this, share this, leave your comments. Give Angela a big up in those comments, please. Let us know what your favorite type of training is. And also let me know what you'd like to see next. Yes. Thank you so much. Give us your knucks. Thanks I'm the, guys. I'm the Funkster. I'm Angela. We'll see you in the next workout, get it done. <laughs>